The Atlanta Blue Eagles and the UP Fighting Maroons will battle for the number one spot at the end of the first round of the eliminations this weekend. The Blue Eagles swept the Fighting Maroons last season and payback will be in the minds of UP as they try to even the score. Still with us to talk about this Sunday's big game, Ateneo alumni Von Pesumal and Laura Liman and UP alumni Martin Reyes and Ricky Flores uh, from that side of uh, Katipuna. Let's talk about the big game. Why will your school win on Sunday? I'll start with UP. Um, well, riding on the four-game four winning streak also, momentum is on our side. But Ateneo Atene has a five-game winning streak as well. So uh, I'm just backing on the fact that uh, it's revenge game, I guess, for losing the finals last year, losing the two regular season games also. And hopefully they learned uh, from last season. So, there. Ricky, why will your school win on Sunday? Because we are watching on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> they better win. <laughs> they or better my win. Tickets ka. <laughs> no, I think um, you know it was a it was a huge boost that they did to add all of these other players in this team. You know, uh, obviously Kobe Paras, Richie Rivero, they're big names, and uh, you know I think that um, they added these two players for this game and this opponent precisely. So uh, yeah, I, I think that um, you know we might just we might just snag this one. Juan, why will your school win on Sunday? First of all, I have to get us out there. I'm very biased. Uh, you could say that they're up against the Monstars. I'm still here. So, uh, I, I want them to win, obviously, but um, I feel like they, they, they can pull out a win because their system is so intact. Um, they have big-name players, but they play through the system. And when, the syst when, when all, everything breaks down, they still have talent to beat you one-on-one. -on -one. So I think that's one of the factors why Ateneo is up there. They can not only break it down like um, play by play and through through strategy, but at the end of the day, if 30 has the ball one on one, he's just trying to try to score. Uh, Matt Nieto has the ball, he's gonna try to score. Even Kwame, right? So. Lau? Well, for me, I guess aside from the system, it would be the camaraderie. Um, four out of, I guess, five of the guys who are usually on court. You have 30 Vignetta twins, Isaac Go. They're all fifth year players. So if four of your five players on court are fifth, fifth year players, you're bringing five years of experience with you. They've been together for five years. Yeah. And beyond that, a lot of the players on the team have actually been together in high school. So you have 30 Vignetta twins, Mamuyak, Andrade, yeah. Credo, all from yeah. Ateneo High School. So they've been together for years and years and years. Whereas Perhaps in UP, while you do have the talent, some of your guys have come from different schools, yeah, different yeah. high schools. Yeah, true. They're just starting to play together this true. season, so I think that's our advantage. Thank you for that courtside yeah. report. Uh, <laughs> Back to you, Coach <laughs> Michael. Para para nago court para nago courtside para para nago courtside report lang. Um, let's talk about the, uh, there's so many big names playing on Sunday, but if you were to choose one as the parang the face of the team. Who would that player be for UP? It's a tough question because there are a lot but who would that be for you? It's easy. Uh, Kobe. Kobe Perez. Uh, I think he played the second game or third game of the season and he's averaging like 20 plus points a game, something, something, rebounds and assists. So, very, I think he's the major club of the team. So, yeah, it's Kobe. Did you get excited watching Kobe Paras in a UP uniform? Yeah, the moment that it was announced, I was like, "Oh my gosh, he's playing for UP! This is great!" <laughs> no, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say, um, I'm more excited to see Juan Gomez de Leano because from last season's performance, it's just, it's, parang, it's about time that he he shows the same. Uh, intensity this season. Oh, you're expecting him to have a, oh, like yeah. a, a breakout game oh, on yeah. Sunday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I... I'm going to say that I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say yeah, Juan Gomez uh, de Leano. So, you're in your prediction, Ricky. One, one GDL breakout game yeah. Sunday. Uh, who's that one player for Ateneo? The face no. of this Ateneo team. Who is it? Well, I know Bon would say Matt Nieto. Um... Uh, obviously, it's 30. Oh, so yeah. for, for 30 okay, I for sure. Say 30, 30 is most talented. He's, for my opinion, he's PBA ready. He's uh, national team ready, whatever you want to say, right? So the give, that's given. But I, I, I think uh, Matt Nieto is also a big factor because he's the heartbeat. He kind of controls the tempo of the game through 
decisions that don't really uh, cater to most casual fans. More, more like basketball fans know that oh he did this because he did, you know. So he keeps it everything going. So I think um, him and 30 are kind of like the guys I'm gonna watch. I think Matt Nieto's probably um, he holds the team together. He's like the heartbeat and the core of the team, yeah. but. Um, I think a lot of the game is going to depend on 30 because when 30 is on, he's on and you can't really yeah, stop him. Yeah, so whether sure. you have Matt there to control everything, if you have one guy who explodes, then I think that's going to make a difference. Sure. Yeah, I see 30, no? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's also really, yeah, so really 30, fun to watch. Kobe, Juan G. Dale, Matt Nieto, and a host of other stars and a cast of yeah. thousands. I'm so excited! Uh, for <laughs> Sunday. So thank you for helping us prepare for that big game. Martin Reyes, Ricky Flores, Juan Pesamal, Laura Liman. Guys, Thank you. Thank you. Thank and good luck to your team.